Hello, my name is Samuel Flores, and I'm recording this video as an appeal to my fellow teachers, scientists, and anybody that has to do presentations in front of students or other people to bring back the chalk talk. So, in the, over the past, uh, let's say, 15 years ago, uh, 15 years or so, we, we've seen the near complete disappearance of, of chalk and whiteboarding for presentations. And it's been replaced basically by PowerPoint and other presentation software. And for me, uh, chalk has some very distinct advantages that I think. Uh, that I think are we're worth preserving, and which I think we can bring back now, with uh, you know the, the changes in our society due to COVID, and the changes in, in the technology that's available for 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 presentations. Uh, and so, so chalk has certain very distinct advantages. First of all, the data rate. When you think about what you do when you when you prepare PowerPoint slides, uh, you usually have a little bit of text that you write. And then some image that maybe you clipped it from the internet, maybe you uh, got it from a scientific journal article, but it has a lot, a lot of information on it. Most of which we're not you're not actually going to use, right? So so you might have a a, a paper a, a figure from a paper with with multiple panels in in an image, and it might represent years of some some researchers' work. And just doing the graphic design to put it together might have taken them days. And you're putting that, putting that in front of your students for one minute. So how much of that are they really going to absorb? On the other hand, if you are writing the old way on a chalkboard, your data rate is very slow. And guess what? It's probably about right for a human because humans are not very high data rate animals. Um, and another advantage, advantage uh, of chalk is that it's deliberate. Every single thing that you put in front of your students is something that, that you really need in order to make your point. You don't have figures that contain only you know, useful information mixed in with a bunch of irrelevant information Every single thing uh, on there is something they need and it's something you thought about. It's not something that uh, that maybe you know you, you, you prepare your talk and you give a great talk now, but then you dig it up three months from now and you find that you flip to slide number five and all of a sudden you can't remember why what is it about this particular figure that was most important. And so maybe you say something about it, but you probably didn't really uh, didn't didn't even remember what what the what the main main th main takeaway was for for, for that figure. It's it, it it happens. I mean, it probably doesn't happen with you on every slide, but but it happens. Um, and so that brings me to 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 the last point is that it's a lot less forgettable. Uh, if you wrote every single thing on your slides, you're 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 not. It's not very likely that you can look at it and say, oh, why did I write that? No, uh, it's it, it went to your brain. It got processed, and it ended up on on this sort of virtual chalkboard. Um, now, it all, chalk, chalk talks also have distinct disadvantages. First of all, you're now going to need more hardware because you can't do this with just a standard laptop. You can need a little bit more than that. And the second disadvantage is that your students and your audience are going to have to put up with your crappy handwriting. So maybe your handwriting is really nice. Maybe it's a lot better than mine, uh, but it's still not going to compete with, you know, uh, Helvetica from Microsoft PowerPoint, right? Uh, so I talked about hardware. Uh, you're you're going to need a, a probably good lighting. Uh, so I have a ring light. I don't think it matters exactly what sort of light it is. Uh, ideally, I think it should be on a tripod. My tripod has not yet arrived, so it's just hanging off of my camera tripod. You know, so thank COVID for uh, 
messing up our, 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 our supply chain. Then uh, you are going to need a camera. And I would recommend that this camera also be on a tripod. I suppose that's not entirely essential, but I think, I think it's a lot better. Uh, and remember, you're probably going to be setting up a home studio if, you, if you're doing teaching or if you're doing presentations. So it, it's a different time and, it, and it's, it's actually okay, I think, to start to build up a little bit more uh, equipment at home. Um, and then oh, the, other, the other point about uh, cameras is that this is just a webcam. There is uh, actually, it's actually hard to spend a lot of money on a webcam. Like the very best webcam on the, on the market is just a few hundred dollars. So, so, so yeah, just get a, get a good camera. It doesn't, you know, and it won't, it really won't break the bank. Uh, then you will need a pen display. So the way I have mine is that I mounted it just below the camera so that you don't, so that the people, the audience doesn't see it. And it's also on a tripod. And there, there are special tripods for holding laptops and, and pen displays. Uh, and then you have your stylus. And there are a couple, two characteristics that I think your, your pen display should have. First, it should have a, a it should be pressure sensitive, um, like uh, in terms of, it, it should have multiple layers, multiple levels of pressure sensitivity, many levels actually. So that that way, if you if you make a light stroke, it goes like this. It's very thin. If you make a uh, if you press down, then the, the your stroke gets it becomes thick, and you can you can start thin and then get get thick like this. And so so it gives the effect of real marker or real brush, and I find that's actually pretty good, pretty useful. Um. And of course, it's gonna be you on some sort of chair in front of this pen display, right? And lastly, as you can see, I don't actually have this yet. I ordered mine something like six weeks ago and it still hasn't come. Thank you again, COVID. Uh, but I think, um, I think it's a good thing to have. Not so much because it hides, you know, whatever crappy, uh, you know, studio wall you have behind you and the couch, but rather because it gets us to recover some of your real estate. So, so this, this stuff here is just, you know, basically a wall and couch that could become transparent and that would give me a little bit more white space to draw on. And also like every time I move, maybe if I accidentally hit something, eventually I'll move again and, and it'll become uh, visible for at least a little bit. So anyway, it's mostly about recovering real estate. Right, and then comes the software. So you can actually do this with Windows, Mac, or Linux. But uh, I'm a bioinformaticist, uh, so we're a geeky sort, and so I went with Ubuntu. And of course, this choice also restricts uh, what sort of software uh, you you what sort of options you have for, your, for the rest of your software, um, you're gonna need some sort of animation software. This is, this is what I found is best for, for creating these, these chalk slides, uh, not uh, slide uh, presentation tools like PowerPoint or Keynote, but an animation software. And I went with Krita. That's free. And it runs on Ubuntu, it runs on Windows, I think it also runs on Mac. Uh, and th there are certain things that, you, that you're gonna want your, your animation software to do, uh, which, whichever, whichever one it is you go with. One is that you want it to be compatible with your pen display so that it can actually parse these, these, these variable pressure levels. Um, and then you want it to be something where you can have a, a, a canvas only, this, uh, canvas only mode so that basically this border is just all white all the way to the edge of your screen uh, that way you don't have to mess around with trying to trying to set up your uh, your recording so that it cuts it out later uh, and then you're also going to want it to uh, support um, some sort of hotkeys for doing things like switching to the next 
the next frame or to the next slide. And so I, I you know, just getting rid of the of the border, of it, like at the top menu bar, that, that required a little bit of configuration, but, but of course Google helps. And then um, you ha had to override some of the hotkeys. So, so now my keyboard number three uh, goes slide back and number eight goes slide forward and number seven inserts a blank slide. Uh, but it wasn't, that's not very difficult to configure. Then you can need some sort of recording software, uh, recording slash streaming software. So I went with OBS, and that's also available on other operating systems. Uh, and basically, all, all that did for me was that it enabled me to get this this thing where where you get your your camera uh, recording goes into this little inserted window, and the you know wherever it is you want it, I put it in the lower right, and then your the rest is uh, is a screen capture from your from your pen display. Um, and OBS is also free. Then you can need some video editing software. And I went with KDEN Live. Actually, I probably got the capitalization wrong. Uh, and basically, all I do in terms of editing is go back and cut out things like, you know, if I said um and all ah five times in a row, maybe I don't want to subject my students to that. I'll just, I'll just cut here, cut there, and delete that little piece and put the rest back together. Uh, but of course, it also does more than that. Like, I, you know, maybe it can change your light levels and so on. Uh, and, and also, of course, maybe instead of cutting out, maybe it'll just suppress the, the little ums and ahs uh, or, or audible clicks and stuff. So that's my setup and that's my pitch for bringing back the chalk talk. And, you know, what, however you feel about it, if you agree, put, put a comment down, maybe we'll learn how to do it better. And if you disagree, fine, make a comment about that also. Uh, either way, I, I think uh, I think this is something that maybe uh, we should be doing more of. Thank you.